Hello. So we are back, but this time let's fix that TV. Okay. So this TV is plugged in right now. So we can press the power button, but nothing will happen. I mean, it's not coming going, it's not nothing, it's just that. Sometimes, you know, I miss uh, fixing TVs. So let me unplug it, because I'll forget probably. Uh, let's open and fix. The TVs are easy to fix. No, it's fun. A lot of fun fixing TVs. How hard can be? Okay, I can't open that screw. I can't open that screw. We have two more. Yeah. You know how hard it can be to fix a TV, which is dead. You know. Because otherwise, if the TV is not dead, it can be complicated. But if uh, if the TV is dead, must be easy. I mean, what can be a power supply issue? Power supplies can be fixed. Actually, because here we don't have a lot of time, um, we are taking TVs which are dead. Just to keep, you know, to keep it simple. I mean, have in mind, we don't have schematics, we don't have uh, spares. I mean, you can spot the fault. Oh, you can't. You can spot the fault straight away. Just tell me, did you spot the fault already? Just by one look. Come on, it's not hard. I mean, this is a, like a common fault on the on the old TVs. Uh, you can see. I mean, from airplane, you can see it. Uh, those capacitors they have a bump. Maybe you can't see it in a, from the angle. But what about now? What about from this angle? Huh? Check those capacitors. Now, what we can do, we can check the fuse. If the fuse is good, that means that's the only problem, the capacitors. And the fuse is good. So that's the only problem. Let's unplug this, this. I mean, those are uh, easy money for a shop, for a repair shop. Because the 
job looks big. I mean, the TV is dead. But it's nothing else than the capacitors, yeah? Try to be careful because it's possible to be charged. Let's check with the multimeter. We have on screen multimeter. And you can see the high voltage truck is has dust on it. You can see it has dust. Actually the voltage is going down. Yeah, like three volts. We are safe. So let's remove the capacitors quickly. Let's try to fix this TV in five minutes. I mean five minutes because I don't know where I can find the capacitors. Yeah, the solar iron is not hot enough. This is one capacitor. This is the second capacitor. Four hundred fifty micro, twenty five volts. I mean, if you want the job to make better than factory, yeah, better than what the manufacturer did, you can use higher voltage, yeah, higher than twenty five. So then the capacitor. It will work longer. Now let me try to find the capacitors. Yeah, we don't have better. Oh yeah, we do have better. We do have better. So I found... 1000 micro, 35 volts, this is better. 470 in 25 volts. So if this is dying, it will still work only on this. Which is good, right? I mean, I can use only one capacitor and it will work. But no, I'll use two. Just to be safe, you know, the job, uh, to be sure the job, it will not come back. But this is one. This is the other pin. You now the other capacitor. Pay attention on the plus and minus. All done. The job is done. And we have to cut these stringies. Okay. Well, let's put it back. Let's put two screws and see if it's working. Maybe we have a second fold. Well, it's not likely.
10 minutes, I can't believe, I think I can keep this video like 10 minutes. Just so don't uh, be boring. Okay, this one, and that's all, yeah, we can test it. Right? So we need this thingy. Because here are the buttons. Okay. Now let's plug it. And the TV is plugged. Now let's press the power. And the TV is working. Probably you can't see the picture here. You can see in the middle of the screen, no signal. Job done. That's what it will happen like in old TVs. Because uh, you have to think on the capacitor job. Yeah. So what the capacitor is doing is taking all the spikes from the switching. Yeah. <clears throat> So, yeah, indeed, you have the rectifier uh, bridge or rectifier diode, but the capacitor is eating, eating all those spikes. Of course, after, uh, after years, uh, you'll see the capacitor, it will get like a bump. Probably because it's releasing the gases from inside. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video, and uh, if you have a TV, like a dead TV, it's worth to check if you have any bump on the capacitor. Bye.